Here we are, we're back with the, the drawing, it's the general outline. Now I'm going to put in the watercolour. And it's going to be a wash. It will look very similar to this Maya Angelou portrait that I've done. Um, you can see I've used ochre, um, a little bit of green gold and some shades of green. And I used tea for this one. Um, and I had tea in my water brush. But today I'm just going to, actually what I'm going to do is I've got coffee next to me. So, let's get some of the coffee in. You can use tea or coffee. This is what's great about these brushes. You can add a little bit of tinge of colour. So, a bit of coffee. And here we go. Um, everyone has different skin tone, but we all have light and dark on our faces. So we've got some shadows. And areas where the light bounce off your face, like the cheek, inside of the lid. And the forehead is lighter. Now remember, we're just doing a wash with watercolour. I'm going to add the hair. I've got curly hair with a few highlights, so I'm going to add black. A bit of ochre. More black. I'll cover this here because it is covered. Now I'm going to add the eyebrow. Make sure you don't have too much water on your when you're using the black on your eyebrow because then it'll drip. Um, no one really has black, black eyes. We have really dark eyes. Again, letting in the light and bouncing off. I've got a bit of eyeliner today, so I'm going to add a bit of black. And um, my lip color is a lipstick. So I'm just going to fill that in. And add some more black. Shadows coming in there. We'll shape the eye. Add the nostrils. A bit of light on the nose. And then you can really work with this. Don't overwork it, but you can add lots of, or when you put the shading and the darks and lights, that's when the character of the face starts to come. So this is just one wash. I'm gonna put in the the iris or the pupil, and 
and the, around my eye, and everyone has different colors and shapes. It's a darker line. So now I'm just going to add the curls. I have a spot over here. Add some more dark. I'm going to dip it into my coffee because I've run out of coffee. And this is where you'll see that the shape of your face is not an exact oval. So you can add the lines in with the hairline, if you have the hairline, or add the tones. You can play with it to make it look a little bit more like you. So there we have it. A portrait of yourself within, um, I think I did it in 14 minutes. So any questions, please feel free to email me on lotusmenezes at gmail.com or post any comments on this page. Thank you so much for joining me and I'm looking forward to seeing your pieces of art and your portraits.